The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will be live. Great thanks my fellow warriors for well, making animal and today I'm going to teach you guys how to program your wedding calisthenics on the request of a fellow warrior uh, in one of the comments uh, in the previous video. So it's going to uh, be due to the fact that a um, number of you guys have been secluded and cut off from civilization. Uh, to say the least and uh, have no access to the gym so his concern was that because of the fact that uh, you may be limited with the amount of weight that you have available uh, and to kind of give ideas of how to program with limited amount of weight uh, which is not really a big deal it should be very easy uh, pretty much uh, sticking to bodyweight training itself would do it but given that uh, the person uh, is in need to necessarily uh, uh, apply some weighted calisthenics I'm going to give you some few ideas so the first idea when you are limited with a model weight and you have what you call um, you will have to proceed with what we call the step loading right step loading will be I am going to try to cover step loading quickly as well in this uh, topic even though it has to do with how to program the way calisthenics at home. Uh, step loading is pretty much um, st staying at one weight for a long period of time uh, as long as the whole mesocycle which is between three to six weeks and before you uh, try to to go up the uh, try to up the weight. So it is really um, not rocket science. But the problem is m m many people have a hard time stick. I mean, uh, sticking with that process because it's mentally uh, training and it requires people to be very patient. Because uh, each week you pretty much have to uh, lift or move the same weight you know and you will only notice uh, the progressive I mean the, the progressive overload through uh, how efficient you are uh, throughout the weeks you now how easier it gets is uh, some of the cue to uh, pay attention to to know that uh, you are progressing and to reassure you that uh, uh, staying with the same weight for that long is not a big deal it's actually a very good way to progress because uh, um, you're kind of limiting uh, fatigue and uh, which is one of the major reason people don't progress uh, uh, fast enough because when you are overloaded with fatigue you get past your minimum recoverable volume it is very easy to get into uh, to overreach and uh, sometimes flirting with injuries so the best way to program when you are limited with weight will be to proceed with step loading, meaning you stick with one weight, you know, uh, which will be a uh, substantial percentage depending on what kind of uh, uh, training uh, you call, modality you want to, to follow and uh, what kind of um, uh, uh, training aspect you want to to target whether it's endurance or strength but one thing is when, when you stick to about 70 percent of so of your maximum uh, load it should be pretty um, pretty sufficient to target like, strength over time uh, if you take your time to peak and to target uh, hypertrophy at the same time as well cumulatively with, with volume that you will accumulate so there is no one rep range that's specific to um, to strength or to hypertrophy it's just about how you program it and how you will progress through time so step loading will be the first thing so let me give you uh, an example an example will be uh, let's say um, you can move 100 pounds for for uh, for one repetition max on your pull up. So, uh, if you have 100 pounds of weight at home, the the best way so that you have enough room to progress uh, to that 100 pound 
eventually and you want to anticipate how long you're gonna be on, on lockdown right if you I mean your, your country is a lockdown and no gym is uh, is open so if you you see um, that you're gonna be in lockdown for like six months for example uh, working with 50% for example it's not a bad idea so 50% of those 100 pounds will be 50 pounds right so you get 50 pounds uh, 50 pounds I mean 50 percent can let you definitely do an easy 10 repetition uh, if not you should be able to hit in the 15 repetition range with 50 percent and with, before you start reaching failure so two-thirds of that now uh, will be about 10 repetition so a simple three set of 10 will be good enough you know to include for that typical exercise with a 50 pound and you stick with the same 50 pound the next week and do another uh set of um, i mean uh, set with uh, with the 50 pound and feel free to add two repetition on the on the uh on the uh, on the on the 10 repetition that you did the previous week but the the typical step loading will, will be to just stick to the same uh same rep range and same weights for the whole three weeks before you take a deload for example but if you feel like it's very easy you can add one repetition or two repetition each week so that probably by the week uh by the week three uh you reach 15 repetitions so the first week you do 10 repetition uh the second week you do 14 repetition and the t uh, the third week you do you, you max out with the uh, 15 repetition and then uh you take a deload. Deload will be cutting the volume in half, whichever way, whether you want to target the sets, you want to target the reps, or you do both at the same time, depending on how fatigued you are. And after the deload, you get back and you add 50%, I mean, 5% uh, of it, 5%. So the increments will be 5%, even though the good thing with the step loading is the increments can be very big because you are patient throughout a long amount, um, a long amount of time. But once you deload, you are so adapted to that um, to that level that the the, the progress in uh, in what you can, uh, uh, what load you can uh, sustain is tremendous. So let's say five 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 percent you add every week, that would have been an increment of ten uh, percent, for example, by the end of the the third week. I mean, you you could be um, uh, you, uh, you could be having an increment of 20%, for example. That's how powerful the step loading can be. So that's just to give you uh, an idea. Uh, so being patient can uh, sometimes be rewarding. But in this specific case that you limited with the weight, just to milk the amount of uh, uh, milk the level that you are. Uh, make sure that you master that weight is the benefit of the step loading that I'm uh, suggesting. So after that deload and you come back, you add 35% and you do the same protocol again. You stick with the same rep range and for the three weeks before the deload, uh, feel free to add some repetition each week if you want to uh, mentally make you feel better or if you feel like it's way too easy. So that's how you're gonna do it, and five percent, five percent each week. By the time you add up to uh, what you call two hundred, I mean to the to the hundred pound, I think you your, your gym will be uh, I mean, you, the gym will be uh, back to uh, back uh, from closure, and uh, the government most likely will uh, re uh, what you call. We allow you guys to to go back and, and train in public gym because it will take you about let's say 10 10 that's 50 uh, so 50 that will be five time 10 time so you will have to actually do an overload of 10 uh, uh, 10 measles uh, 10 measles cycle before you reach your 100 point which is 10 measles cycle each measles cycle being uh, four four weeks so you can you have an idea it will take you a lot it will take it like two to three years for you to cover 
the whole way so that's why i'm like i mean sticking with i mean with, with, the, with the step loading is the best way actually to train in situation where you are limited uh by the amount of weight that you can add on and being patient like that the good thing is once you have access to weight your capacity is much in much more enhanced than what you have been training with by sticking with this meta, uh, this methodology uh, this style of uh, loading so that's that you have that and uh, it is um, it is a loading process that should be uh, uh, what you call common it should be common sense but not so common because the typical progressive overload is more like uh, the, uh, the typical uh, loading process is the uh, the wave loading style which is the one where you add weights every week and stuff like that and step loading is another way that's not much discussed and uh, pretty efficient for those who kind of hit plateau and uh, tend to do a lot of things as, I mean in, in one program so certain uh, certain exercise could be subjected to step loading for you to uh, simmer properly in, uh, uh, throughout the, the movement before you take to the next level. So that's that. I think I was pretty clear enough and uh, hopefully um, it, was a, it was a helpful uh, video for you guys out there uh, in time of uh, um, in this crazy time of lockdown and you know mayhem everywhere. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to take care of your health because that's all we got. Uh, the most valuable asset is your body and take, uh, take care of it because uh, when it comes down to the worst, that will be the last thing you have to uh, count on nobody else. Everything is and will always be. Let me can away, like, comment, subscribe, spread the word and uh, yeah, it helps with the algorithm. Comment, comment anything that you, that you can just uh, for the sake of helping with the algorithm. All right, guys. Peace. The revolution will not be televised. The revolution will be live. live.